we very often suffer the consequences of our sins of pride and arrogance. We think so highly of ourselves. And when we are brought down low from our pedestal, when we are stripped of everything in our life, we often feel that God has abandoned us, that God does not care for us anymore, that this God does not love us. And yet this is far from the truth. If you're going through tragedies in life, do not think that God is punishing you. Rather, my dear brothers and sisters, the punishment that we received, they are meant to be God's instruments of love, of purification. In the face of suffering, our attitude towards God must always be like a child. A child has complete confidence in his parents. Somehow he knows the parents will look after him or look after her. The child can surrender his life to his parents. Even though many things his parents might ask him to do and he don't understand, but he will trust that his parents will only desire what is truly good for him. And so even without understanding, he obeys because he trusts in his parents. And it is in the same way too, if you are going through sufferings in life and you don't understand, what must you do? You must learn to trust him. He has his plans for us. You will never be able to understand the wisdom and the plan of God with our little finite mind. That's why the clever and the learned will never understand. This explains why Jesus, when he was going through his passion, he could commend his life to his heavenly Father because he trusted in his Father's love. He never doubted his Father's love, even when he was hanging on the cross. The kind of complete trust is important. Trust especially when we are being disciplined because of our own folly, of our pride, of our rebellious attitude. All children have to be disciplined in order to learn to grow. And therefore, children should not be resentful of their parents when they are disciplined. Those of us who are parents will understand so well. It is more painful to punish our children than to punish ourselves. Because to punish your children is to punish your own body. That is why most parents will try to save their children from punishment because they know they are punishing themselves. And that's why we tend to spare the rod and spoil the child. We have no heart to punish our children. True parents will have to really be strong in their heart to discipline their children. That is why it's extremely difficult to be a parent or to be a boss or to be a superior when you have to make difficult decisions for your children, for those under your charge. It is always the case. Because no one wants to be unpopular. We all want to be popular, to be loved. No one wants to make a decision that displeases those people who are close to you. And that is the way the Lord conducts himself. That is why we are called to have a childlike trust. That even though we are going through the discipline, somehow He is helping us. And this is true even when God allowed evil people to hurt us. Sometimes you wonder why God allowed evil people to hurt us. It is all within the plan of God. 
we can always learn something from tragedies, even people who hurt us when we are innocent. We can always learn to grow in humility, to use our pain, our suffering, of being misunderstood, being taken for granted, to gradually win over our enemies. But don't think our enemies will escape punishment from God. God used our enemies also to purify this. But if they themselves do not change, they will also be punished. That's why all those of us who are proud and arrogant, uh, leaders who are proud and arrogant, countries who are very proud of themselves, one day you will just be in history. A time will come when all these will be just history. No powers, no nations, no leaders last forever. We must realize this. That's why it's so important today to cultivate this spirit of humility, of total dependence on God. It is only in humility and total dependence we know our place in life. Never too proud of ourselves, never too arrogant, never think that we know everything, that we are the center of the universe. Never think that way. We are nobody. We are what we are only by the grace of God. All these things that we have, whatever position that we have, whatever wealth that we have, whatever intelligence we have, one day will be stripped away. That is why being childlike is important. Like Jesus, if we know the Father's love, then we can surrender our life. And Jesus precisely, he knew the Father, and the Father reveals himself to him. And that is why Jesus lives a life of complete dependence on his Father. 